Okay, to do a proper green screen effect, you need three things. First, you need to have a camera on a tripod. You can't handheld uh, a shot for green screen, and I'll explain that a little bit later. I'll give you a demo of that. Second, you need a steady background. So the same for whatever you have behind you, that needs to be shot on a tripod as well. You can't have that wiggling around. And third, it has to be a believable background. So you have to try to match the lighting and the scene and the scenario to make it look like the person should be, unless you're going for an effect of like, hey, look at me, I'm running around with dinosaurs and it's not really believable. So that's the kind of thing you need to do. And there are times that we want the unbelievable effect, like if suddenly things are flying behind me or whatever, it just makes for a real cool effect. But normally you need the camera on a tripod, that's for sure, can't argue with that one. You need the steady shot behind you and then a believable background. Those are the three things you need. Okay, for this example, the camera is on a tripod. So the camera is perfectly steady, but it's the background that it's moving around so much. And that's what makes it kind of odd for your, your viewers to enjoy it because something is not right. The green screen effect is not working. Okay, so this time we are using a handheld camera. And as you can see, even though the background is steady and I'm sitting on a chair, something doesn't look right because the camera is moving slightly and that's gonna wreck the whole effect. Okay, for this example, everything is set up. So the camera is steady, the background is steady, and now everything looks natural and believable as a green screen project. Okay, so let's talk about getting background. So here I am in YouTube and I've searched for volcano background and I've got one playing here. And, and I've also got the screen record software. So in QuickTime, I've gone to you know, new screen recording and I've selected that so I'm recording the entire screen. We go ahead and make this bigger and then rewind it so we can get this recorded. And I mostly want this shot right there. So I kind of kind of take my mouse out of the shot. So I'm going to edit that later. So I'm just recording the screen right now. I'm not going for audio. I'm just going for just the background. And then of course now we've got a different shot. So I don't want it anymore. So let me go ahead and uh, stop the screen record and bring it into iMovie where I can put the two together. When you're using green screen, you can use all sorts of different backgrounds. So I can be uh, at a beach, I can be next to an erupting volcano, or I could be in a newsroom and it works just great.